Hey, what's up everybody? This is Bruce. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to do the detailed review on the Detroit Sparrow. Let's start off with the specifications. The frame itself is hydroformed aluminum. I have mine in size medium and I'm about 5 foot 7, 170 centimeters, and it fits absolutely perfectly. The frame also has horizontal dropouts, which during my research, I actually learned are called bar, or sorry, fork ends, which is kind of strange. The fork is also aluminum. Headset is FSA Orbital 1 and 1 8 stem is evg aluminum uh, 10 degree rise 90, mil, 90 millimeter reach in the size of medium uh, size medium frame uh, bars are 630 millimeters wide just uh, black craton rubber grips brake levers themselves don't seem to have any name at all but they are all aluminum the calipers also have no name and they are center bolt side pull style the wheels are aluminum double wall 32 hole star circle brand 30 millimeter deep i don't know about the width but the braking surface is machined going down to the hub you have the quandro sealed bearings uh, front and back the tires i think are really a standout point on this bike just aesthetically and they are a wtb thick slicks 28 millimeters wide the pedals if you've seen my other video are welgo plastics uh, i actually like them a lot cranks are sunrace 170 millimeter uh, aluminum uh, 44 tooth four bolt with a black aluminum chain guard. The rear free wheel is a steel DNP 17 tooth. Seat post is aluminum and 27.2 millimeters in diameter. Saddle is SDG Duster. I don't know about that, but it was actually really comfortable. All right, so that's enough of the specifications. I will put a link to the specifications in the description if you wanna uh, know like all the details, but that's basically it. So about my review, let me start off with the durability and reliability. I have about 250 kilometers, sorry I don't know off the top of my head how many miles that is, it's probably like 170 miles, just, uh, okay, I'll put it up on screen. And I haven't had any major problems with the bike. The only things to speak of is when I first started riding uh, the bike after a couple rides, one of the front brake pads actually came loose and just was like rattling and stuff, so I just quickly tightened that back up. And actually, I think that's kind of my fault. I should have probably, you know, gone through the whole bike and checked everything that it was tightened down uh, properly before actually riding. Other than that, for the reliability, it's been absolutely perfect. I've been honestly riding it pretty darn hard uh, through Port Charlotte. It was the city I've been riding it in the last uh, five weeks. And it's just, I'm, I'm going over all kinds of sidewalks and stuff. And it's not like it is maybe in Europe where where the roads are nice and flat and, and there's bike lanes everywhere. Here you're always doing weird stuff, going off curves, and uh, it's actually not had any problems whatsoever. Even the wheels are still as straight as they were when I got them out of the box, so no problems with the reliability. Now the ride itself, it really didn't surprise me any. Um, the handling is neutral and it just does what you would expect it to do. The overall ride is relaxed compared to a race bike with uh, drop bars for sure. Um, the bike doesn't really accelerate super fast and the top speed is limited due to the gearing. But it does cruise nicely and it is pretty nimble for the urban riding that I've been doing lately. And with the single speed setup there's no shifting cables, there's no derailleur, there's none of that stuff so I think that even further enhances the reliability. There's very little to go wrong on this bike. In terms of comfort, the longest I've actually rode was about two hours and I was perfectly comfortable. The saddle was totally perfect for me. Uh, the seating position and the riding position rather is pretty upright so it's actually really comfortable. It's even more upright and more comfortable than my commuter bike. Uh, actually the one that I converted the drop bar to the flat bar, you can, uh, you can uh, see that a few videos back or several videos back. This is even more comfortable and more upright than that so it's, it's a pretty relaxed uh, riding position in my opinion. The longest I rode with it though was about two hours and I had absolutely no discomfort. I'm pretty confident I could have gone another two and still would have been okay. One small complaint I do have and, it, and I probably could have fixed it if I just would have bothered to do it but I was, I've been really busy uh, these past five weeks over here in Florida. But there is a little bit of noise coming from the drivetrain somewhere. somewhere around the front chain ring I think I think maybe the uh, chain is actually touching occasionally under certain conditions the chain guard so it's just like a, a tiny little rattle I even tried picking it up with my GoPro and I can't even pick up the the sound so it's it's really minor but 
Oh, and if you watch my unboxing video, which is the video right before this one, you can see at this moment I, I push up on the chain and I kind of say, oh, maybe this is even too tight. Well, it turns out it loosened up a lot after, you know, four or five weeks of riding. And now I think it's probably right where it should be. Um, so by the way, if, if you, you know, have this bike, if you get this bike uh, and the chain seems maybe a bit too tight, I would recommend just riding it a bit. And hopefully like mine, it will loosen up a little bit. Let's talk about the looks and the style. To me, this is absolutely 10 out of 10. I think the black and the polished aluminum look great, and the thick, slick tires look sick. The only thing, in my opinion, that might make this bike look a little bit cooler is if it had drop bars. But keep watching my channel, and hey, if you leave a comment down there, let me know if you want me to try to convert this to drop bars, because I think that'll make it look super cool. And a little bit more about the handling, I should mention the type of riding I was doing. I wasn't really doing like exercise riding, I never had my full bike gear, I never had clip, you know, clipless pedals. I was just going to the store, going to the Winn-Dixie, going to the McDonald's. Oh, and by the way, they told me, uh, you apparently they say you're not allowed to ride your bike through the drive through Actually, I wish I would have had my camera going for that because that was a pretty funny encounter. But anyway. So anyway, my bottom line on the bike is I think it's an awesome bike for especially somebody who's starting out. It's a solid bike, it has decent parts, and it's assembled well and almost completely right out of the box. It's great they give you the bike pump. Really, I think this bike is kind of a beginner bike. Not that you know, anybody can ride it, and I'm going to keep riding it and enjoying it, but I think maybe part of their idea was to be kind of a beginner bike. It's easy to ride, um, it's, it's, it's durable, it looks great, it's not that expensive and the handling is very neutral, the braking is easy, you don't have gears to worry about to dial in and all that stuff. It's very simple, very reliable, looks great, price is right, so it's a beginner bike in my opinion, but it's even a better beginner bike actually than, than the cheaper ones that you can get at Walmart or, Walmart or whatever, which I do have some experience with if you've seen my other uh, video on my, Wal my $99 Walmart bike. Um, actually, the funny, the ironic and kind of funny thing about that is, is the people who are going to buy that bike, the beginners who are going to buy those type of $99 bikes are probably not the ones who should be buying it. The people who should be buying those cheap bikes are probably people like me who can tinker with them, who can fix their problems and whatnot. If somebody were to ask me if, uh, if somebody new to cycling were coming up to me and saying, hey, I want to get into cycling, uh, you know, provided they're not living in a very hilly area because it's only a single speed, I would definitely recommend a bike just like this, maybe this one or, or something very similar because it's just simple, it's reliable, it's robust, costs not a ton of money, but it's not so cheap that it's gonna break on them and things. So I can tell you myself, I'm gonna keep on enjoying this bike, I'm gonna keep riding it. Uh, I don't have any intention of getting rid of it, really. It's a, it's a nice bike. It looks good, I even feel kinda like, not exactly proud, but I feel kinda, I feel good riding it. I feel like I look good. I've been, you know, sporting my black on black. I just feel nice riding it, which is almost unusual because if you know on my channel, a lot of my bikes kind of look, kind of look rough. So, <laughs> okay, that will about do it for this uh, review video. Thanks everybody for watching. Please, please leave a comment, leave a like if you like it. I guess a dislike if you don't like it. Um, and uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Talk to you guys later.